thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We're coming to you live from the Young Island Dock. Welcome to another program, The Realization of a Dream, the coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This program is produced by the Agency for Public Information in collaboration with the Office of the Prime Minister and Temple Cable Television Network. Join with us, come along, as we take the short ride across to the beautiful Young Island. We're now here at the Young Island Resort where I'm joined by the General Manager, Bianca Pota. Bianca, thank you for joining us and welcome to our program. Thank you and my pleasure. Well, the Young Island Resort is the perfect ghetto. If you can just tell us a bit more about where we are and uh, your, what, what you do. Well, I'm the general manager of the resort. We're located on 12.6 acres, just about three minutes by ferry from the main island of St. Vincent. And we have 29 accommodations dotted uh, across the island. And it's just an ideal place to take your shoes off and relax and forget about the cares of the world for a few days. So we have an opportunity to do that this yes. afternoon. Yes, <laughs> definitely so. Well, the coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport, I'm sure this is a joy for you and the establishment altogether. How do you feel about that? I'm excited, of course, as a Vincentian, I feel very proud because I never expected in my lifetime to actually see an international airport being built and completed here, uh, mainly because of the topographical challenges and of course finances. So it's, it's really exciting for me as a Vincentian. Now as a general manager of Young Island Resort, it's even more exciting because I know that our occupancy levels will increase. I say that because by speaking with visitors, repeat guests, they have always indicated that there's so many inconveniences making connections come into St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I've also spoken on numerous occasions to many prospective visitors who would like to visit but have told me once you open your international airport and you have those flights, international flights coming in, we will be there. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm sure it is also exciting times for you, Bianca, as chairperson of the Tourism Authority uh, with the coming on stream of the airport as well. Yes, it is indeed very exciting for the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Tourism Authority. You know, we face competition from other destinations, not because they are better than we are, but simply because they have better air access. We are I say this unreservedly, one of the most beautiful destinations certainly in the Caribbean and we can compete with other sun destinations in the world. But the air access will afford us the ability to bring greater numbers in, for example, for destination weddings, groups of divers, divers travel with a lot of equipment and many of these persons don't like to have a lot of connections. So the ease of travel, the ease of getting away will make it so much easier for us to 
lure more visitors to our destination and of course we can do marketing with the large airlines that we hope to form alliances with to further promote the destination. Uh, this country's tourism product has been branded as one of the best and the most unique. Now if you can uh, just tell us uh, uh, what are some of the comments that you get from time to time here at the resort and of course from your, your years of experience in, in this business. Some of the comments include visitors saying that it is a very unspoilt destination and while one may have heard those words over and over again they say it in in the true sense of those words they feel that the the, the people are very warm and welcoming we are not overrun with tourists yes we would like more but we also have a very natural environment there's a, an, an innate natural beauty to the country so with the people the country and the diversity of the product that really makes us very special well our program today will be televised not only locally but to our regional and international audiences uh, for that person who may have heard about St. Vincent and yes, over the last couple of days may have heard about the February 14th opening of the Argyle International Airport, what do you say to them in, in both of your capacities as General Manager of the Young Island Resort and as Chairman of the Tourism Authority? I would say visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You will not be disappointed. We have some of the best sailing waters in the world. We have some of the best diving. We have a critter diving. I speak to divers who say that they've identified species which they've seen nowhere else. So the diving is fantastic. The sailing is fantastic. It's a ro very romantic destination as well. And it's very nature oriented. So visit us and apart from these various aspects of the destination, you will also experience excellent food using locally grown ingredients primarily and also a warm, welcoming and friendly people. As we took the short journey across here this afternoon, I thought to myself, well, this is the ideal and perfect getaway. This can definitely be your experience too. If you come to St. Vincent on February 14th for the opening of the Argyle International Airport. This has been another exciting edition of the program, The Realization of a Dream, the coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport. Our guest today, General Manager of the Young Island Resort and Chairman of the Local Tourism Authority in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye. St. Vincent, my homeland You gave me no mansion No a million for the things that you have to offer is more than my heart's desire lovely beach tropical breeze always there within my reach I love you Saint Vincent.